Well, May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and if you're taking medications to help that, you may be suffering from something called tardive dyskinesia. And if you don't know what that is, we're bringing in Dr. Karuna Pura, Medical Director of Minder Center for Movement Disorders, to discuss this. Uh, doc, this is something that I'm sure a lot of people uh, might be concerned about, but if they're taking a medication that's causing this, what is tardive dyskinesia? Tardive dyskinesia is an abnormal neurological condition which happens when you've been exposed to medications that you would use for psychiatric conditions or for conditions involving nausea. These medications, when you take it for long stretches, may cause abnormal movements to occur in different body parts, including your face, tongue, eyes, arms, legs. These movements can appear very mild or minimal, so minimal that you don't even realize you have it, but everybody else around you sees it to extremely severe disabling movements which impact the actual function of the, the body part itself. And how, how common is this? It is sadly quite common. We're talking about half a million odd patients are estimated to have tardive dyskinesia. But the biggest problem is that most of these patients are not diagnosed with TD. Uh, most patients and caregivers are not aware that there can be movements which develop when they take these medicines chronically. That's number one. And also many times under recognition because healthcare providers are not trained appropriately to diagnose this condition. Yeah, it's definitely something uh, I'm sure people out there, if they have a loved one, uh, might be suffering from this, uh, watching this interview. How, what should they do if they suspect uh, a loved one suffering? And what should they look for? First off, to look for, they're looking for intrusive movements which occur day in, day out, which can enhance or amplify when the person's stressed, excited, angry, these movements come about. And they can look almost normal looking, like you're just tapping your fingers on your lap, you're kind of zigzagging or tapping your legs, you can be blinking excessively, you could be chewing or pursing your lips like you're chewing gum. This is how subtle these movements can be to extremely severe looking movements. Once you recognize that something's off, the first thing you need to do is discuss this with your healthcare provider. Because more often than not, they're trained enough to easily diagnose this in a span of one to five minutes just by a clinical exam in, in the clinic setting. And once they do give it a diagnosis of tardive dyskinesia, there are several resources available for patients and caregivers to learn more about this, including one website called tardiveimpact.com. Uh, that's good to hear that it is able to be diagnosed. Um, so if somebody uh, suspects this, they reach out to, reach out to their doctor to, to get a diagnosis? Do they mention it to them? Are there places they should go? Any healthcare provider can diagnose TD, including your primary care physician and or your psychiatrist, any mid-level providers like nurse practitioners or PAs, even nurses uh, who are appropriately trained in our clinics can diagnose this very easily. And finally, of course, uh, a movement specialist like a neurologist. I appreciate your time, Doc. One last time where people can go to find out more. TardiveImpact.com is an excellent resource to learn more about TD. Thank you so much for this information. We're going to share this on our website. You can see it again, folks. Just go to firstcoastliving.net.